Today we're talking about pre-meal prayer. Very confusing subject. A lot of people don't know when to pray, what to pray for, how to pray, who prays. Hey, do you want me to, should I pray? You wanna, should we pray? I don't know if, all very confusing. We're gonna cover it all today. Let's get started. Chips and salsa. Sometimes they bring it to the table before you're even seated. There's no need to pray for that. Lots of people wonder about appetizers. Do you pray for them? Do you not pray for them? No prayer is necessary for an appetizer if you have entrees coming out later. Salad, that is the most confusing thing on the prayer continuum. If it's a side salad or an appetizer salad, no need for prayer there. Now, if it's a main course salad or you're bringing it out with the rest of everyone else's meal, that then is gonna require some kind of prayer. But I put that kind of in a separate category. For the most part, when you're thinking about salads, just remember this, if it requires dressing, it doesn't require a blessing. Do I pray for coffee? No, are you a psychopath? No one wants to be next to the person at Starbucks that's praying over a latte, you weirdo. Soup, do you pray for soup? Do not pray for soup. It's only bowl related soups. Anything smaller than that is always off the hook. I like to say if it comes in a cup, no need to lift up. Everyone knows if you order a hamburger, that's gonna require prayer. But if you order sliders, that does not require prayer. It's a little glitch in the system a lot of people are not aware of. Potato skins, no prayer. Baked potato, prayer. Ask any Bible-believing Christian, they're gonna have a different policy on fries. Some say never eat the fries. Some say eat as many as you want. Here's the policy on fries. Up to three fries is acceptable to eat prior to the prayer. That brings us to dessert. Always a very confusing situation. A lot of times people go out to a show, go to a movie, hey, should we grab some dessert afterward? Yeah, let me get the creme brulee, I love cheesecake. Ugh. You don't need to pray for that because you've already prayed for your meal earlier in the night. Do you hold hands before you pray? That depends on your situation. If it's a personal family gathering, some close-knit Bible study of some sort, sure, a hold hand wouldn't be uncomfortable. Now, if you're on a Tinder date, that might throw off the mood a little bit. Most of the confusion surrounding pre-meal prayer comes from when to actually pray. Let me just say, on behalf of waiters, all over the world. Please pray when your waiter is not there. There's nothing worse than a waiter coming out with two full arms of fajitas and you're over there mid prayer a Jabez. Like, what are you doing? Last but certainly not least, who at the table volunteers to lead the prayer? Lots of people say the man should lead the prayer. Why is that? I'm not sure, it's 2018. Maybe we should get that rule adjusted at some point in the near future. A lot of people operate under the most spiritual person at the table. They're gonna be the one that should pray because that prayer is gonna be the most powerful and effective. So if you got obviously a pastor, a missionary, even a Christian blogger of some sort, shoot, even a volunteer youth pastor, that prayer is gonna be a little less effective, but it's still gonna qualify. If you're just an average person sitting at the table with obviously more spiritual people around you, you're kind of off the hook, because I feel like God would be like, hey, how come y'all didn't bless this meal? You'd be like, I don't know, ask the pastor, he works for you. 